Welcome to a show called Get Your Own Back, where we're mean to grown-ups as we put them on the rack. Someone today is going to take a plunge into my tank of very messy guns. The chumps and the challenges are playing for fun, so let's start off with the game and play round one! Round one is the name of the brain box round. This is where we get to test the brain power of the chumps. Will you please welcome the yellows? In the come, in the come. Yes, hello there. Hello. And hey, what's your name, matey? Gareth Thomas. All right, Gareth Thomas, where are you from? Cunnington in near Bridgewater. Oh, that's OK. Now, according to this, right, you like working on the till. Where do you like working on the till? At my garage. Wait a minute, you have a garage? <laughs> Is it your garage? No, it's my dad's. Oh, it's your dad's. Oh, that's OK. And according to this as well, you've got a story about a rubber mouse. Yeah, well, we had we bought this rubber mouse from the joke shop and we decided to put it in this box behind the console for Sue and it frightens to death when she opened up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my kind of child. Right, and you are? <laughs> I'm Sue. Oh, you're Sue. Oh, you're the one who got scared. <laughs> so, it says here, you love food and sport. What's yes. your favourite sport? Aerobics. Aerobics. And you like that's to do right. that or do you like to watch it? No, I like to do it. You like to do it. Yeah. Okay then, that's fine. Just want to know all that Jane Fonda bit. <laughs> I love that. Now, what is the connection between you two, Gareth? Well, she works at my dad's garage, so. And why do you want to get your own back on her? Well, because she makes me clean out the toilets and clean the pumps. And I'd rather look, work beyond the till. Oh, look at that. Having to clean the stuff and handing in the bucket too. Isn't that mean of you? Give her a <laughs> boom. <laughs> yes, precisely. Right, so you stand behind me. Gareth, I would like you to choose a category of questions for Sue to answer by ringing that bell. Go on, give it a good one. <laughs> I think you've broken it. And the subject matter is sports. So over to the manga with you very, very quickly. And remember, at all costs, slow Sue down. What's your knowledge on sports like there? Awful. Awful? How awful <laughs> are we talking? We're talking like Extremely really awful. awful. Extremely. Oh, that's great, because what we'd like you to do is to make as many ice cream sundaes as you can in a minute and take them through the mangle, OK? You can only do that once you get a right question. Your minute on sport starts now. Who is our best British Grand Prix Formula One racing driver? Mansell. Mansell's right, but you've got to make your ice cream sundae. Go on. Ice cream. That's it. <laughs> and the wafer bit. And the sauce. Yeah, and the wafer. And the cherry. Away you go. Yeah. Now, what is the name of the object which is hit in a game of badminton? Hit the shuttlecock. Shuttlecock's right! Go on, go on. Start making the stuff. That's it. Yeah. And again. Look at go. <laughs> done. Well, that's 20 points there for two correct answer questions and only one ice cream sundae on the table, giving you a total of 25 points. Yeah! Now it's time to welcome the Reds. Coming! 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 Aha! Right, hello there, you are? Thomas. Hello there, Thomas. Where are you from, Thomas? Bath. Ah, Bath. Nice part of the world, that, because I've got all that water around now. I like that. Now! What's your, what's your favourite football team? Liverpool. Liverpool! Yeah! Well, some people like it. Is Liverpool your favourite team? I hope so. Who's your favourite player in there? John Barnes. John Barnes, oh, yeah. He's got... I like him. I do like him. And also, you're into video games as well, aren't you? What's your favourite yeah. video game at the moment? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, that's brilliant, that is. Yeah! Well, I think they like you anyway. Now, moving along to your partner in crime, you are... I'm Sarah. 
Hello there, Sarah. Hi. Now, where are you from? Uh, Bristol. You're from Bristol. And uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a dental hygienist. Right, a dental... What does that mean? <laughs> Cleans people's teeth. <laughs> that sort oh, of thing. right. You mean the people who are like, far too lazy to clean their own teeth, That's they right. get you to do it. Oh, <laughs> right, I see. But funnily enough, you love licorice all sorts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a contradiction there, <laughs> eh? <laughs> anyway, it says here you've got two ambitions. I'd like you to tell us what they are. Uh, I'd like to star in a western mm -hmm. and I'd like to fly Concorde. Oh, Two very great ambitions. <laughs> now, what is the connection between you two? Uh, Sarah's my dental hygienist. She's, she's your dental hygienist. Why do you want to get your own back on the floor? Because she makes me have horrible mouthwashes and brush my teeth. Whoa! Look at it. What's all that blue stuff on his mouth? That's just disclosing him to show him where the plaque is on the teeth. Whoa, that looks seriously horrible. Oh, no wonder you want to get your own back on her. Mm. Right, you can stand with me, because what I would like you to do is I would like you to choose a category of questions for her to answer by ringing that bell. So if I you, grab that hammer. Go on, give it a good one. Ready? Go on, give it some... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> These sounds get worse and worse. Right, go over to the mango with you very quickly. And remember, at all costs, you've got to slow Sarah down as much as you can. In the meantime, what is your knowledge like on the old filmy bits? Uh, all right. Oh, good, because what we're going to do is we're going to make you answer questions on films whilst having a bit of a spud bash, right? You have to peel these potatoes and get as many peeled potatoes as you can through our amazing mangle. You have one minute in which to do so. Your minute starts now. Who appeared in the title role of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? Um, 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 what's it? Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner's right! Go on! Sound of music. No, Mary Poppins. Oh. <laughs> what is the name of the spaceship in Star Trek? Um, uh, Star Trek Enterprise. Enterprise is right down. Put that potato. Go on. Put that two correct answer questions and two potatoes on the table. But I'm going to knock off five points. And you know why? Because you didn't peel the potatoes properly. Therefore, you have a score of 25 points. Well, let's take a look at the scores after round one. Sue of the Yellows has scored 25 points and Sarah of the Reds has also scored 25 points. So that's the scores level as we now approach round two. Two is the Chumps Challenge, and have we got a dish of a game for you. It's called the Chef Special, and this is how it goes. Both Chump and Challenger are now dressed in their fine chef gear. And when I say go, they have to try and throw the ball into the mouth of the chefs. Only by doing so will they find out what they have to get in the way of food on the menu. Once they find out what it is, they have to run into the ball pond, out of the ball pond, and towards the table where the food is, collect the right food, run back, put it on the table, and so on. Now, for the grown-up, they get 10 points for each collected bit of food. However, should they finish before the child, they will get themselves 25 bonus points. Ooh. Should the child get back first of all, all they'll get are the points for the food. So, it's the Reds to go. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Oh, straight in, straight in, go, go! Gotta get the trifle! Get the trifle! No, no, that's a cheesecake! That's the trifle! Take the trifle! That's it, trifle! Very quickly! Now do it again! Oh, straight in! You gotta get the hamburger! Get it! Hamburger for you as well! That's it, hamburger! Keep going, keep going! Keep the hand up your quick! Right, you gotta get the pizza!
Now it's the turn of the yellows to go. If Sue doesn't want to go anywhere near the guns, she has to try and draw level as much as she can to get this key to freedom. Yellows, are you ready? Yes. On your marks, yes. get set, go! <laughs> oh, straight in! Right, you're getting some purple! Pick up purple! Purple for you as well, go on! That's it, please try, please try! That's it, that's one, run back! Stop, 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 stop! Keep jogging! That's it, go, Gareth, go! It's in, stop! Hamburger, you gotta get the hamburger! Get the hamburger, take the hamburger! Hold! Ready up! That's it, straight in! Hamburger, it's the other one underneath! Other one underneath, pizza! Keep trying! Only to get 30 points back to you. No bonus points. So also gets our 13 points. Give it to him. Go on. <laughs> so let's take a look at the scores after round two. Well, Sue of the Yellows has got a very paltry 55 points, but in the lead by 35 points is Sarah of the Reds with 90 points. Yeah! Which means, which means you get your key to freedom. Thank How you. do you feel about that? Relieved. <laughs> because you don't have to go anywhere near the gun. And also into the bargain, you get yourself a nice clever clog certificate as well. Listen, I'm not, I, I don't know what to say, mate. You didn't quite get your own back, but thanks for getting this far with her. You do get to take away with you and get your own backpack, which consists of trainers, a get your own back t-shirt, and this week's special prize, which is a collection of videos, including Paul Hogan in Crocodile Dundee 2. Give him a big hand! You know what time it is, don't you? You do! Yes, it's now time to take that ghost train ride towards the ghost train! Yes, as you can see, things aren't looking too great for our Sue at the moment, as she is set for a drop in a plop. But I'm a nice kind of guy, and I'm going to try and throw you the lifeline as best as I can. Mm. Now, if you can answer five correct questions in under 45 seconds, lighting the pumpkins behind you, you lock out the drop mechanism that throws you into here, and you open up the vat of gunge above Gareth's head. OK? All right, now there are very, very obvious answers to my questions that begin with the letter T. But unfortunately, your answers cannot begin <coughs> with that letter. Your 45 seconds starts now. You might go into one of these if you were hypnotised. The woman that puts you to sleep. No, nah, too vague. <laughs> what is the loud noise that goes with lightning? The Big Bang. Yes. Where would you go to see a play? Cinema. <laughs> yes. What in England is considered to be the best drink of the day? Brown stuff. <laughs> yes, I'll have that. What is the day after today? Next day. Yes. Which night of the week is Top of the Pops on? The day after Wednesday. That's the one. That's it. You've done it. You have managed to light all five of these. Gareth! Gareth! Oh! Soon. And remember, grown-ups, be nice to your children. It could be you in the gunk tank. Bye-bye!